FM News Talk 97.1. On Demand Audio. There has been a lot of discussion in the state of Missouri, in the Midwest, really, over the last week. Uh, Governor Rick Perry from Texas has been rolling through ads along with Grow Missouri here with the Missouri Chamber of Commerce discussing Texas's uh, preferred economic climate and how it matches up to Missouri. Governor Perry is going to be in town later today to speak on this with the Missouri Chamber of Commerce. And he joins me on the phone right now. Good afternoon to you, Governor. And good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be in Missouri. It is a pleasure to have you here in our state, although I have to say that you've made our governor real mad. He's been going on and on about you for the past 10 days now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, 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 this is never supposed to be about me. And quite frankly, it's really not about him either and and uh it's, it's about the people of missouri and having an opportunity just to have a civil discussion about what is the best policy uh that affect them from a tax standpoint in this perspective and it is is keeping more of the money in the uh, private sector hands in the best interest of the people of the state of, of missouri what we found in texas is that that is the case that it is in the best interest uh, you'll see uh, increased investment in your state from the standpoint of uh, uh, entrepreneurs uh, risking their capital, hiring more of your citizens, and those citizens being able to take care of their families better. I and mean, that is a proven fact. Uh, over the 10 years that we've uh, been implementing those types of policies in the state of Texas, you know, Dana, 30% of all the jobs created in the last 10 years in the United States were created in Texas. It didn't happen by accident. It happened because we put uh, tax policies in place that uh, allowed entrepreneurs to be able to keep more of what they uh, invest. We have a regulatory climate that is fair and predictable. We passed some of the most sweeping tort reform in the nation uh, that uh, really stops the frivolous lawsuits and obviously saves businesses money. And we've had accountable public schools uh, that are in- improving young people's uh, test scores and, in turn, their preparation to go on and acquire the types of jobs that, that, that they'd like to be able to have. So it, it's, it's a really pretty simple formula. Uh, you keep the taxes low, the regulatory climate fair and predictable, a legal system that doesn't allow for oversuing, and accountable public schools so you got a skilled workforce. And government pretty much get out of the way, let the private sector do what it does. Chief Executive Officer Magazine has chosen Texas for nine years in a row. It's the best business climate in America. Again, mm-hmm. there's simple uh, but profound actions, and cutting taxes and keeping that low tax burden is very, very important to economic growth and prosperity in your state. Yeah, and you can see it, too. I go to Texas all the time for, for business, and living in Missouri and being in Texas so often, there is a, a huge difference just from touching down. I see uh, building happening everywhere, new roads being put in everywhere. There's so much new property. Property is affordable in Texas. Uh, there's, there's, you can see it. You can, you, you can see the growth, and uh, that's why so many people are, uh, so many young families, so many businesses are going to Texas. Now, our Governor here, I know both of you were speaking this morning about this uh, topic separately, though. Our governor here has uh, been trying to, I think, uh, fill in some of the holes of his record by comparing and contrasting tax policies. You know, obviously no income tax, state income tax in Texas. But our governor here was saying, well, Texas has a higher tax burden than Missouri does. Uh, They have higher property taxes and and so on and so forth. When you hear that from Governor Nixon, how do you how do you respond to uh, his words on that? Well, and again, this this really isn't about uh, Jay, and it's not about me. It's, it's about our respective states, and I hope we can keep it very civil and, and the discourse uh, appropriate. Uh, but the fact is, uh, Governor Nixon is picking and choosing the um, the numbers that he wants to, and and we do have a a higher sales tax than they have in Missouri. I readily give that to him. But you have to look at the entire tax burden. Nobody's going to move to or from uh, a state based on what your sales tax rate is. I'd be very surprised if they did. As of 2010, the Tax Foundation ranked Texas as number nine in the nation in terms of overall tax burden. They ranked Missouri 16th. So when you look at the overall tax burden, uh, Texas does have a, uh, a lower tax burden in Missouri. But 
But here's the bigger issue, uh, Dan, and I think you got to the point when you talked about you come to Texas, uh, you you live here, uh, you go between both states, and you see the economic climate. Over a thousand people a day move into the state of Texas. If wow. there was all this concern that they're going to be overtaxed or that the air is dirty or that what whatever they've thrown up a, a, against the wall about, you know, Texas is a bad place because of X, why would a thousand plus people a day move into that state? I think if the proof is in the pudding, so to speak, if you want to see where people are moving and voting with their feet, Texas is leading the charge. And again, it goes back tax policy, mm-hmm. uh, to regulatory climate, to a legal system that doesn't allow for oversuing, and that skilled workforce that comes from accountable public schools. That's what's happening in the state of Texas. And frankly, I'd love to see that happen in Missouri. We want this state to be successful. One of the reasons we come up is obviously to talk to people about the option of living somewhere else uh, and, and, and enjoying the freedoms of, of not being overtaxed and overregulated, overlitigated. But it's it, it, it's hard. It's really about the people of Missouri doing better, mm-hmm. uh, being able to keep more. And if Missouri is a stronger state economically, then it forces Kansas and Indiana to go take a look at their tax and regulatory policies. And the cumulative effect of all of that for America is right. that this country becomes a, a stronger economic uh, uh, foundation. And that's that's good for America. Yeah, I, I'm not quite so sure why Governor Nixon's so angry at you over it, I, because we've been losing people to Kansas and other states bordering us uh, for quite a long time now. And as you know, our governor just vetoed a, a nice tax cut that businesses could have enjoyed. He also has vetoed unemployment insurance reforms that would have protected fraud for unemployment insurance for small businesses. You're speaking about this with the Missouri Chamber of Commerce later today. I wish that our governor would maybe take a page out of your book or at least say, well, what can I learn from you, Governor Perry, if you had to give him some advice, or if you wanted to give him advice, what would you have him do? Well, listen, we all pick and choose from each other. I don't have a problem in the world and, and going over and seeing something that Bobby Jindal's doing in Louisiana, or uh, if, if a governor puts a policy in place, if they, they are innovative in how they deal with health care or education, I'll be, I'll, I'll go, I'll mm-hmm. go snitch that in a heartbeat and take and replicate it in my home state. Uh, you know, hopefully give credit to where credit's due, but that's beside the point. It's the people who uh, are, are really the, the ones that we're, uh, we're, we're thinking about here. And, and this goes to the heart of this, Dana. If the people of Missouri uh, have a choice between government making the decisions about what they're going to get and how much they're going to get versus the freedom of them being able to make those decisions and, and frankly, being able to... Uh, receive even more than what government's going to dole out to them. I think if they really give this some thought, that the freedom of keeping more of their money, of working for a business that gets to keep more of its money and to be able to hire them, that's that's the direction that the, uh, the people of, of Missouri would be more comfortable with. I, I just, you know, this is a great state, hardworking people. And, you know, again, I want this state to succeed. Uh, we, we were talking about competition, and, and competition makes you strong. Yes. Uh, as I recall, a couple of years back, uh, the Cardinals gave a, a lesson to my Texas Rangers about competition. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so you guys know how to compete here. And you need your business community and, and your, uh, your uh, business environment to be just as competitive as those St. Louis Cardinals. Absolutely. I have last quick question I have for you, Governor Perry. I, a lot of discussion about you in 2016, a little bit different from what we've been talking about. But a lot of people are uh, have their eye on you, wondering what kind of moves you're going to make going into the general election 2016. You don't seem like you've shut the door on that entirely, a presidential run. No, it's certainly an option that's still out there, Dana. But we, yeah, I'm going to be the governor of Texas for the next uh, 15, 16 months, and we're going to keep focused on this red state, blue state, conversation that we're having across the country and hopefully uh you know whoever our our nominee is in 2016 will be someone who greatly respects the the 10th amendment greatly respects states being able to compete against each other and frankly making washington uh substantially more or i should say substantially less uh impactful and consequential 
as it is right now and allow the states to make a lot of these decisions, whether it's social policy or, or economic policy that uh, that their citizens need to be making. So, And I'll make a decision in, in the next year or so about uh, what my future plans are. But right now, uh, I'm really focused on this uh, constructive civil conversation that uh, this country needs to have, and, and state against state uh, when, when we talk about the competition, and it will make us all stronger. And that's, and, and that's my goal, uh, whether you're an athlete or whether you're a, a governor of a, a very successful state. Uh, how do we get more competitive? I can promise Bobby Jindal and uh, Susanna Martinez and Mary Fallon, who are my neighboring governors, mm-hmm. uh, they're probably trying to figure out ways to put tax and regulatory policies in place to lure businesses from Texas into New Mexico and Oklahoma and Louisiana. And I say good for them because that will make us in Texas have to uh, re-examine and and strengthen our positions on taxes and regulations. And in the end, the people are the real winners. Absolutely. Well, Governor Perry, we hope you enjoy your time here in Missouri. Missouri's a fun state. Love Texas as well. And uh, thanks for coming and visiting us. Absolutely. Godspeed and and look forward to uh, seeing you again soon. All right. Thanks. Take care, Governor. Mm -hmm.